Bayonetta do something. So I'm curious, it's loser's bracket bloom, which I assume means we are seeing the Bayonetta. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. I think the winner set that Andreas took, I want to say there was some Pyramitha in there, a few of the characters, which we know Bloom likes to go, but he's going with his tried and trusted Bayonetta. Getting it started here. Let's see if Andres can uh, do more than he did last time with the 3 0. Yeah. Can we get the sound of the game a bit lower, please? <laughs> that would be thankful, because I want to keep my ears for what's come next to it. <laughs> but for now, 86% and still counting, he's, he went with the Ken here. So doesn't want to go with the Ryu again. Yeah, interesting. I'm not sure. Oh, gosh. Maybe he wants to get up and personal with Bloom, with Bayonetta, to try and get a lot of the aggressive damage. But if you mistimes it, if you mistime anything on Bayonetta's shield, you're going to eat the Witch Twist. Okay, sorry, the, 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 music, the, game, the sound <laughs> of the game just a tad too much here. Uh, down there again here, finding nearly a kill, but the Nair is going to be enough. Only 40% here. And Recepen uh, needs to get into that set. Yeah, it's a great start here for Bloom. Let's see if he could... Andres FN, I think there's been moments in previous sets where Andres FN has gone down, taken like a, a stock, had his stock lost early. But he's got that explosive factor, especially with a character like Ken. He can bring it back, or alternatively, Bloom can keep going. Yeah, again, this is what's looking like, because 80% still counting, but that landing is going to a punch. What are you going to do about Ah, uh, the classic down throw into nothing. That's a good combo <laughs> down throw into nothing. Down throw into disappointment, as I love to call it. Well, oh. yeah, the cl oh, not only to die there, but are we going to get back on the stage? Yes! Oh, oh right. Uh, uh, Little Mishap here uh, by Bloom Forever on that edge guard, but uh, the damage has already been done. 18, 140% still counting on the second stock of Andres Fen. Andres Fen needs to again take the revenge here oh. for Siski. Wake up, Andres! <laughs> Andres looking pretty lost so far, Bloom. As we say, even if he's not getting the final kill with some of these offstage situations, he's doing a lot of damage, which gives him the percent where a forward throw is going to kill, just like it did then. Here we go, three to one. Parrying to what? Parrying to nothing. Another perfect combo. Good show you can do here. Still not around enough rage, I guess, to take the kill here. He needs to be re off the edge guard because this is not a situation where you're safe. Even when you're on the ledge, finally can just jump in there and find a good option to get you out there and a kill afterwards. However, the sure you can finally stop the bleeding, making Andres FN being able to, oh, sorry, enable Andres FN to take a through stock, but not enough yet. We've got Bloop here losing that stock, but then starting on his uh, next stock, putting 72%. This character gets so much damage. The bayonet is so crazy in the, the right hand. But we got 100%. And here comes Andres. <laughs> we talk about the punish game. Just a couple of jab or a couple of down tilts and a Hadouken. 140%. Uh, this is not looking good. I mean, this is his game, sure. First game, you know. But uh, I mean... okay, good call out here. He knew that he was going for the to be aggressive option, but. As, as, okay, he needs to be kind of more attentive because we know how Bayonetta does take more time when she lands. And, uh, well, he could actually incentivize on it, go for an option because at those percent he does have full rage. He could go for a full uh, power show you can to get a killing key like oh. this. But, oh, my oh, God. The <laughs> Step I, on me, Bloom. I love the down smash. I absolutely love the down smash. I think the only way that Andres FN was going to take that game there, once he got to 180, 180 percent it ever was, was to basically get an early rage kill and then just try and hope for the best, get some cheese. But Bloom didn't give it to him. And the thing I'm quite scared of is that normally when you get a 1-0 at the beginning of the set, you try to gain information. You try to know what to adapt to. You have to know what the plan of your opponent is just to uh, mix up yours, to you know, change a bit of your approaches and all. And I don't see there what Anderson could take as information as added value for the next game because Bloom just reacted to his own mistakes uh, to lay out his own game plan. And I think I kind of get the plan now. Just change yeah, completely yeah. your character and go for um, uh, Terry. Well, this is the good thing about playing a couple of different characters is that if you get kind of worked in the first game with one character and you have the confidence of playing with another, you've got the Terry and Terry, another character that can has no problem racking up oh, silly yeah. damage. He doesn't have any problem with him, obviously, and here you can see the damage ramp up one side, but, oh, you know what, Bloom Forever did manage to react accordingly, and a quick 70% just to even the things, uh, even the, 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 the plane, the, the field, sorry. I think it's great. I think I like the, I like the Terry pick because we saw in that uh, game with the Ken, 
the combos. Like, I don't think Andrix was really no. getting much damage, but he's getting damage, he's getting kills this game. Yeah, I knew what's going to happen at 100%, the DLC privilege, my friend. DLC privilege. You're going to feel those six pounds? Is it six pounds here? Ah, five, five ninety-nine. Oh yeah. Five. Well, excuse but, but, me. Same thing. I'm going to keep that, keep that sense for later. Oh. But and here it's come. The DLC privilege, the ladies DLC and gentlemen. Privilege. It took what five seconds. <laughs> but wait. Oh. Okay. What is the punish here from the? Like Which from time? Only two up tilts. But ah, quite surprised, honestly. He's, uh, he had, like he got used, uh, got us used to way more. I think. Yeah. But he keeps it going. Oh, Bloom getting back to center stage pretty free there. Not much of a ledge trap there from Andres. Yeah, now Andres is keeping Bloom on the left side. Yeah, and don't go for Bloom. fancy stuff. You know, you have that BNB, like uh, power dunk and all. You can just go for that over and over again, just to ramp up damage. And yeah, then yeah. finally get a, kill, a clean kill afterwards with that one, for example. Yeah, that's the thing about Terry. Even his BNBs do <laughs> crazy damage. You don't need the super intricate stuff to get the... Uh, the really high, uh, high damage combos, but he has that go meter. What are you going to do with it? Oh, yeah. you're going to finish the landing. No, you can't. Oh, and yeah, aiming for, aiming for the ledge to reset oh. that whole situation we are talking about. Sure, is going to do a big boss. He's going to be uh, using a big buster wolf, but uh, you were on the other side of the stage, so yeah, not going to get a kill there. This oh. one though is going to be enough. Great hey. stuff there. I'm having faith in this one. I think the Terry pick has been working really, really well. Oh. Especially you think of uh, Bloom. Usually he doesn't mind his opponents being at like 120, 160 oh. when he gets the kill. <laughs> but the problem with doing that is if that you let Terry live for an extra 50%, he's going to have go meter for yeah. a long time. And he didn't kill with a down smash. Yeah. Up, up smash for good measure that time. <laughs> I mean, we saw the heal, we saw the hand. What's left? <laughs> Nothing after <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Good combo again. Classic 155%. That's uh, quite well done, I guess. Yeah, for I two uh, hits. I think we're, we're seeing Andres in this game absolutely. He's keeping up with Bloom Forever's damage output. Normally, that is an area that Bloom has on lock. Bloom is always going to out damage you. But Andres, he's keeping up. But then <laughs> at the same time, here comes Bloom. Yeah, one opening for Bloom was enough here to get 166%, 16%, sorry, still counting. Are you going to be uh, able to? No, you're not. Okay, he's oh, used you're his jump. Jump. Oh, he's used his jump. Sends him straight back down with the down air. Brilliant edge guard. Great flow chart there from Bloom. He recognized, he took away Andres' jump, and then he knew the exact sequence of events to kill him. Yeah, and surgical. Again, we were talking about how both players love to get that one opportunity to get some damage in. Bloom Forever has evolved. He takes every opportunity to get a kill. <laughs> there was it. <laughs> he needed one opening there to take 116% and a clean hit on Terry. Again, using that uh, lacking recovery to go in there, which timing him, and then down there just to seal the deal. And he's, oh my goodness. Oh. Can they actually have some time to express himself on the stage? Please, Bloom. <laughs> I think he's used his jump here. Let's see if Bloom recognizes. I think he has. Yeah, he has to go for the side B. No jump here on Andres. Bloom using that. Oh, using that <laughs> fair. I think He Andres, can do it. He Andres, can do it. Andres has Let to him use. leave. Her. I think Andres Come is in on. big trouble. He's in big trouble. But he just makes it back. But it's Bayonetta, so he should be fine. Hey, oh. it was all part of the plan to get the go on the deck. Oh okay? my gosh. All part of the plan. Bloom got Andres off stage at like 40-50%. And for Andres to get back to the stage, he took like 100%. Yeah, all of his percents. Oh, and the parachute oh. jab. <gasps> Saved oh. by the SDI. Never mind. But killed by the SD. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Very good, very good. <laughs> so Bloom, strong lead here in the percent. Or with the stock, but... Oh, Andres nice. FN. What are you going to do now? Stage. Again, just do not go and compete against him out of the stage. Do whatever you can to keep him there. Roll in, maybe to get that. You're in the dice position there. Just do not stay there. Andres, please. Back here we go. Andres, a little bit more slower pace now from these two. Andres kind of fading back, but then going for that aggressive side B there for. Try and get Bloom off ledge. See Bloom a little bit more passive now, I feel like. Oh, you know, yeah. He's uh, happy to kind of sit on this stock lead, kind of nickel and dime Andres. But the thing is that every time every time Andres is approaching him, you can just punish him by throwing him off the stage, and then he's going to have a field day with your face. Yeah, it's uh, the offstage game is uh, it's night and day for most characters against Bayonetta. She loves it when you're uh, she's off stage. Oh, you're off stage as well, but edge guarding her is just a different question. Okay, so can Bloom is doing a lot of damage here, but of course. Always online. Oh, still going. How are we going to get back on the stage? No, oh. you're not. No double oh. jump. He can do it. Yes. He's made it back. But again, look at the percent. Oh, he's oh. dead. He's definitely. Oh, he's not. <laughs> he should be. That is, I was uh... talking about Bloom. <laughs> what are you talking about? Very good. I was talking about Bloom. <laughs> ah, I see. And yeah, now. A bit, of, a bit of an error there from uh, Bloom. 
But see, look, actually, to be fair to Andres, he's making it back. The edge yeah. guards from Bloom, the large hitboxes of Harry, uh, Terry's attacks. The full 140% he took on the first stock. I don't see them anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> but he dropped his shield, and now he's dead. Jab. The timing mix up for those uh, jab 1, 2, 3. Yeah. It could be the difference between life or death. And it was death there for Andres. Starting off with some more damage. 90 on Bloom. Now what? Jab, jab. Oh, oh, trying to read the roll. Didn't manage to get it, but a tad late on the timing. Now what? He's going to oh, get hit by the, the side B on the, the, the stage. Sorry. 50% that's in counting. Again, Bloom for her doing the most out of every option, every situation that Blue, uh, Andres is giving him. Bloom is having a field day. Yeah, just so much damage. I think Andres is keeping pace with some of the damage, but Bloom is He's increasing dead. it even more. Andres can do it. Decent DI there, but Go is online. Oh, not going to be enough. Good after here again, gaining the stage control. Oh, so hey, much damage. Hey, come on. I think, it, I think the jump was gone there. Bloom not trying to go off stage that time. And here, going for the witch time, not finding anything. But you know what? He got some way, like he got oh. some time again. He was one stock ahead, and at 150 percent, every hit from Bio can actually get the kill there. Yes, you say that, but it's about 180 percent here on Andres, and Andres knows that it's not going to take much to. Uh, Get this going, that starts. Wait, Th this is how it begins. This is how you make history, Andres. Please prove us wrong. Please prove us that no, you can no, no. get that game. Please don't prove us wrong, Andres. And <laughs> Great stuff there for Bloom. It was a it was a it was a tall ask there for Andres. 180%. He had the max rage, but he was